Ideal weather, no complaints on that front here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And we have FA Cup action to bring you from the round of 16 just moments away. It's Arsenal up against Portsmouth. Well, thank you, Derek. With being big favourites, complacency can be a problem. You've got to use that to your advantage if you're playing a home side as expected to go through. Can they put the pressure on in the first 20 minutes and hold out and then try and nick the game in the second half? And so they start at 11 for Arsenal. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Now let's dissect the Portsmouth starting 11. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. The back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Rosberto Dorado, Nicola Pepe. Zaldua, Nicola Pepe, on the ball Zaldua, Dorado, Elneny, read it superbly to take back possession, well he has to be regarded always as a dangerous opponent but what should we expect to see from him in this game Lee? Well, he's got all sorts going on for him, this player. Trickery, I don't mind that. I can play against trickery. Pace is a bit more of a problem. As soon as you've got a player like that, you now have to manage him a lot, lot closer. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Read it magnificently and intercepted. Here's Icardi. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Chance to attack using width. And it's with Curtis. It's opening up for them. Simple save for the keeper. Well, he had to pick the fly to the ball up. That was all got behind it. Good save. Goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Dembele. Advantage, Arsenal. A really sumptuous ball. Now just couldn't keep himself onside. The referee has gone back now to hand out the yellow card. Opted for the laissez-faire approach. Most would say good refereeing, Lee. No, it's absolutely spot on. Keep the game going as long as you can, but then you can always go back and book him after the ball's gone out of play. Good refereeing. Collins. Fruitful-looking attack. Pressure on to clear his lines. Here's Icardi. Rosberto Dorado. He's going forward well here. Nicola Pepe giving them a different option by moving in field. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position.
Collins. Dangerous looking attack. Esposito. That's how to rob them of possession. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Oh, nice ball. Good numerical situation. Dorado. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Beautiful pass. Dembele. That's plenty of know-how in the ball-shielding department. Arsenal completely controlling possession, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. The coach, he's not happy at all. He wants more from this team. Arsenal passing it around neatly and swiftly. What can they do from this position? A real struggle to contain him. Beautifully weighted ball. And the keeper would have been disappointed had he not dealt with it. Keeper didn't quite do enough. Wonderful block. Nicola Pepe. Running with the ball confidently. A oh, wonderful bit of skill. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Good use of advantage by the referee. Moving into the advanced position. Can they get in behind them? Pretty really comfortable piece of defending. Minimum of two minutes of added time. Ben Close. Well, that is how to run at defenders. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Esposito. Close on the ball. Still passing it around with authority. Ben Close. Fed over towards the back post. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. Well, here's one for you to look forward to. The first leg of the Europa League round of 16 tie on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Olympic Lyonnais. Yeah, looking forward to watching that one, Derek. Sometimes first legs can be cagey affairs, especially when you're down to the last 16. Well, he has just veered into an offside position this time. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, the championship is such a competitive division, and this is a game for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Portsmouth facing Swansea City. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless. But... Delightful pass. Now do we Cardi here, and they deal with the threat this time. Dorado. Torreira. It is a decent-looking attack here. And on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort. Used his laces, but uh, screwed it well off target. Ben Close. 
Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Advantage, Arsenal. Nicola Pepe. Options around him. Icardi! Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. Often tempting to blow your whistle straight away, but the referee let it flow and then went back and handed out the yellow card. Well, he thought he got away with it, and he? he looked over his shoulder, then all of a sudden the referee's there with a the yellow card. Esposito might be able to set up the chance, just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Space and time for the cross. Well, it was a very good-looking move, but alas, no end product. And it's with Curtis. Ben Close. It looked as though he was going to score, but last-ditch defending is something you know about, Lee. Yeah, he was hassled. It made him hurry his shot, and it's close. Dembele. Roberto Dorado. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Ben Close. Real chance. Still a chance. We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Well, look at this, Derek. Sometimes the opposition are all set up perfectly for you to dribble through them. It's almost like he's playing FIFA. He goes through and puts the ball at the back of the net. It's brilliant. One nil then. So 20 minutes to go. Using space on the opposite flank now. Trincao. Getting forward. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. Collins. Ben Close. Portsmouth is struggling in terms of possession. But to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Well, there's not long left. The players are trying to respond to this noise. It's deafening. And a chance for him on the flank. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Ben Close. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. And they are on the move again. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Torreira. Just ten minutes to go. On the ball, Zaldua. Well, these Arsenal fans demanding their team attack here. Fair to say they've not been at their best today, but you have to think they'll get another chance. The cross is on. Back from the byline. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, it was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. 
Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Close on the ball. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Easy peasy for the goalkeeper. And very deftly cut out. Attempting to play catch up in this second half. Lee, what ought the priorities to be? Well, because the game is so tight, Arsenal will feel that there's another goal out there. More pressure, more balls in the box, force the issue, more intensity. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Three minutes of time. Now Lacazette. Dorado. The clock is against Arsenal, but what can they pull out of the fire here? And the snuffing out of the cross there. There it is, the final.